Hey guys, it's Emma here and in today's video uh, we are going to be cruising off the Ashby and then heading to uh, Hawkesbury Junction, um, but let's go! So we are just filling up on water now, um, we, we just filled up like a few days ago but it's always good to sort of top up before we move uh, just in case like we break down or anything uh, and then we know we at least have some water uh, so we don't have to worry about that at least for a little while. Um, so we're just going to top up and then get moving. So this is a mile marker, uh, this shows that we are five miles away from the end of the Ashby. And even though it is a bit windy, uh, this mooring is only 48 hour mooring, so we have to move. It is windy today, which is a bit disappointing, um, but we're probably only going for a half an hour, an hour. We're actually supposed to only cruise for a little bit, like an hour max, uh, but it seems like we're going to have to keep going for a little bit longer, uh, just because there are no warnings around, um, but yeah. have moored up at our mooring spot now uh, it's pretty nice here it's obviously very windy at the moment but we went a bit further than we did plan today uh, so tomorrow we're probably gonna set off and then uh, probably leave the Ashby uh, which will be exciting um, but yeah so we've been on the Ashby for about six months now um, and since obviously lockdown we had to sort of stay in one spot uh, we probably would have left quite a while ago uh, if it wasn't for lockdown um, but the real question is, will we ever really come back to the Ashby? Uh, we might in the future. At the moment, we're kind of, I guess you could say, Ashby'd out. We probably won't come back here for a little while, uh, but then probably eventually we will maybe come back. Uh, the issue with this canal is it can be kind of tricky uh, because it can be shallow. Uh, moorings can be a bit tricky and Wi-Fi can also uh, sort of be a bit weird in some places. Shops can also be quite tricky uh, if it wasn't for our friend Nigel uh, who uh, very kindly sort of was in our social bubble so took us to the shop sort of every week we probably would have had quite a bit of issues with that um, but the Ashby is actually really nice and I also got to experience a lot of stuff like it snowed so I managed to build my first snowman we also got our boat black for the first time uh, sort of when we were on the boat uh, so that was also kind of exciting but now that we are off the ash beat, we are looking forward to our spring summer cruises. So the good thing about the Ashby Canal, uh, especially since sort of lockdown is around, um, it's actually quite quiet at the moment. So I've managed to get so, sort of some driving practice in since the canals are generally pretty straight uh, with some curves around. Uh, I My mum generally takes over when we go th through a bridge uh, just because they can be really weird at times. Um, but here's just some footage of me driving and also nearly crashing into a side by accident. Um, but yeah. So we're just about to come off the Ashby um, and then we're going to Hawkesbury Junction uh, on the Coventry Canal uh, after we get off the Ashby. Um, we, we have, we've been on the Coventry but we haven't sort of been in the centre um, so we're planning to go there next. 
Um, but yeah, as you can see, the bridge is coming up, uh, so we'll finally be leaving the Ashby. So this is us turning uh, off the Ashby Canal uh, and going on to the Coventry Canal at Marston Junction. Uh, this is quite sort of a tight turn uh, about getting off, um, but we're now finally off the Ashby after sort of six months and we're heading to uh, Hawkesbury Junction. So we finally arrived at Hawkesbury Junction. Uh, it's actually really pretty here and it even has its famous uh, Greyhound Inn. Uh, it was open, but we didn't go in uh, because we were just taking around, uh, going around sort of taking photos. Um, the bridge here is actually really pretty and it's very well known for its uh, sort of beautiful architecture around. There's also its facilities around. Uh, it has sort of bins and Elson and every like that. So we did top up on those before we left. So I just want to say a big thank you to my new Patreon. I want to say a big thank you to Andrew K uh, for donating to my Patreon. It means the world to me and I'm really glad you're enjoying my videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I do a video. And comment on my social medias, my Patreon and my Gmail, thenebrogirl at gmail.com if you have any suggestions for me. And you also do have a canal post address if you'd like to send me letters. Um, but yeah, see you later. Bye!